friend request is important to me. Please stay online. I will answer your request in the order it was received. <laughs> I can't trust a man or a woman with a peach fuzz mustache. <laughs> All beds should be casket shaped so we get used to it. <laughs> it's not a lie if it's a surprise. <laughs> My guest on tonight's show, she is a former member of Nickelodeon's All That and current host of UFC's This Minute and Desk of Death Battle. Please welcome Lisa Foyles, everybody. Hello. Hello. Yeah, Hello, there she everyone. is, right there. Thank you for having me. No problem. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We are we're worlds apart, but the internet has brought us together, and this is this is I great. I think we're just a time zone. I don't think we're a world. You're fu you're like in Minnesota. Minnesota. Yep. And I'm in Las Vegas. That's this is this is the future that we're in right now. Pretty I'm much, virtually yeah. on your show. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. So, how have you been? <laughs> frozen. I just talked about the future, and now the future is failing me. And you were I just know. like frozen. I'm like, yep. dang oh, it. Oh, you froze. Sorry, you I, I didn't hear any of that. Oh, okay. I, I just asked <laughs> how you've been. Oh, how I've been. Yeah. Uh, good. Uh, before we started, we were just talking about the Manny Pacquiao Floyd Mayweather fight that just happened here in Vegas. So that like tornado whirlwind of crazy people has just exited my town, so I can breathe a little a little deeper now. That was yeah. that was insane. I don't yeah. know if you watched the fight, but it was crazy. I'm I'm cheap, so I just got the text updates on my phone, basically oh, nice. just describing what happened. Well, actually, the event was crazy. The fight was super boring. So you didn't you really didn't yeah. miss anything. A lot of hugging, a lot of like a lot of love. Floyd, Floyd Mayweather just like anytime Pacquiao came towards him, he's just like, I love you. Why do we have to fight? Yeah, makes why you can't... wonder why he's a fighter if he just yeah wants to hug people. Why can't we be friends? That song. He's in played. the wrong profession. Yep, pretty much. So uh, you you're a gamer, right? I am a gamer. Yes, I've been doing uh, video game journalism for the last five years or so. I say journalism because I'm not. I'm not really a journalist. I don't really like report on things. I just write humorous articles and make hilariously weird videos about video games. So video game humor. I'm a video game enthusiast. That's what I like to, that's my title. Oh, video game journalist though. That sounds futuristic. It does. Yeah, I think Very. that's a, our running theme here. So do today. you have like a game you would want to like live in for maybe an hour or a day? Like live inside a video game? Yeah, like live inside I the have story. thought about this. You have no idea. Like I've totally thought about this. I've, I've looked at all my games and like, okay, if I had to live in one of these worlds, which one would I live in? And I had to take into consideration like the villains, like the capabilities, like the weapons, like the environments, the world, just everything. And I think that I would pick my favorite game, which is The Secret of Monkey Island because it's funny everybody's funny so you have just humor all the time and you're just like constantly on vacation because it's in the islands so you travel from island to island so you're just on a tropical vacation forever and you're not really in real danger because like villains in a comedy game aren't really villains like no. they're not gonna snipe me in the back of the head <laughs> uh so i that's where i would live i would live in the tri-island area in in monkey island you have definitely thought about this before yes no you have no like, idea like thoroughly. i I've imagined all the scenarios of like, what if this video game character fought this video game character? I'm like, raw, and like had really deep discussions with my friends because we're cool. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, with you know video game conventions and whatnot, do you, when you go, do you get kind of like a lot of creepy guys kind of hovering around you asking you know, weird questions? Not, not really. You know, the creepers are usually online. People who are mean and creepy are they stick to the internet because they have that wall of like, she can't really see me, she can't really get to me, like what is she gonna do? But in person, people are usually just really nice and just really like personable, usually like nervous and shy, but just super nice, so. Well good. Well in case yeah. you did have an issue with any stalkers, I thought you might be able to use this. Whoa, um, just whoa, in, just what is, in case. is that a leg, what is that? This is our show mascot, the foot leg. Oh! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> In the face. I don't know if you have could you use the toe. Home, have you ever hit a home run with that? I have not. I feel like it'd be kind of difficult since I can only... Ugh. I'm sure you could carve <laughs> it into a bat, though. I feel like like I'm Skyping in on... Like, like there's a zombie apocalypse happening in Minnesota right now, and you're just like, oh, my God! Yeah, don't tell anybody. Save, I help us! Yeah. <laughs> I can't. Okay, you just blew the whole thing. <laughs> no. Um, you, okay, speaking of uh, apocalyptic evilness, uh, you have a cat, right? Yes. <laughs> that's, 
probably my favorite segue ever. Speaking of <laughs> the world going to yeah, hell, really and going down. You have a cat, suffering. right? Yeah. Here's, you have a cat, right? Yes, yeah. I do have a cat. His name is Kevin. He's a jerk. So you're on point with that. Okay. I just saw that you said that on Twitter, so I figured, is he really a jerk? Yes, I actually have two cats. They're both named Kevin. Uh, that's a brother and sister. It's a long story. It's actually not a long story. I wanted a cat named Kevin, and then when I saw both of them, I'm like, I can't just take one. I can't rip the brother away from their sister in like a Luke Skywalker Leia situation, and then they meet up. You know, you know the story. Oh, yeah. um, so I had to have them both, and I'm not good with names, like coming up with names. So I'm like, you're also Kevin. So now I have Kevin and Kevin. And uh, Kevin's been my co-host in many of my shows, many episodes of Top 5, my escapist show. And I'm pretty sure my fans like him more than me, so living the dream. So I should not get a co-host, like a cat as a co-host then? He's available if you want to call him, maybe do like a Skype interview, see if he's maybe, a good fit. Yeah. I have but... two cats though. Similar thing. Oh, They're yeah, no. You don't want to separate him and whatnot. He doesn't share the spotlight. He's... Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's alone. Have you ever have you ever though thought about getting a raccoon? <laughs> Dude, raccoons are like the coolest animals in the world. They got do you have a, do you have a rac do you have raccoon problems there in in Minnesota? I don't think so. I know there was like a coyote problem at one point, but I think that's about that's it. That's the weirdest thing. So I've lived all up and down the West Coast, and in Vegas, we don't have bugs really, like because we don't really have a lot of water. I really? think it's like so we don't really attract animals and bugs. So, like, nothing is really scary here. Like, we have, like the, the scariest thing we have is, like, scorpions and snakes, if you go out far enough. But, like, I feel, like, safe. Like, a couple of months ago, somebody's uh, savannah cat got loose. Do you know what that is? I do. Like, John Jones has one. It's, like, these giant leopard cats. Yeah, they have the big ears. Yeah, giant yeah. ears. Yep. Uh, somebody's cat got loose and was, like, jumping from rooftop to rooftop in Vegas. And there was this huge scare that, like, a tiger was on the loose in Vegas. <laughs> So that's about as exciting with animals as we get. I mean, there, there you go. Cats are evil. They're not evil. They're just well, misunderstood. <laughs> they, you have to. Cats are so much better than dogs because with dogs, dogs will love. Dogs will just like, oh hey, you're a horrible person. I love you. Oh hey, you have a gun. You're robbing my house. I love you. But cats, like, you have to earn their love. You know, that's yeah. like, and then the love means something. That's yeah. true. You just, have to earn it with them. Just think about it. Just contemplate that. Uh, I'm thinking. No, not now. Like oh, later. Okay, yeah, probably a good idea. So, Bad would time. you like to play a game of Would You Rather? Sure. All right, it's time for Would You Rather. <laughs> All right. So, Lisa. Yes. Would you rather eat roadkill forever, or have everybody in the world sound like Ray Romano? Well, okay, so here's the problem. I love Ray Romano, so that would... Oh, but Lisa. you're right, too much of a good thing might be terrible. Okay, question. I, I'm going to answer your question with a question. What cooking tools do I have available to me to make the roadkill taste good? I've been watching a lot of Iron Chef lately, and they can do some amazing things with some really gross stuff. So... I'm assuming the question means you have to eat it raw. Ew. I'm well, assuming. see, no, 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 Probably I wouldn't do wrong. that. Then clearly Ray Romano, <laughs> clearly. If I couldn't take roadkill, okay, but like roadkill is, comes in many different forms. Yeah. I don't know if you wanted this game to be this in-depth, but <laughs> it is. So like roadkill could be like, like they barely got hit, you know what I mean? Like yeah. maybe just like a truck like sideswiped them and they just like tumbled and like hit, hit kind of hard good. and then they yeah. died. But that's roadkill. So I could take this like full animal and turn it into something great, you know, wrap in prosciutto, you know, you know how they do on the cooking show. I can't cook, but it looks amazing. So I don't know. It for looks. Oh, but actually, probably with the Ray Romano one. Ray yeah, Romano. I'm gonna go with that. Ray Romano. Yeah. All right. Question number two: Would you rather smell like poop and not know it, or constantly be smelling poop? <laughs> this is a tough one. If I'm constantly smelling poop, are other people? So I'm the only one. You're like the only I'm one in a room, poop. and yeah, I'm just, just always you. just like, do you guys smell? Poop? No, Am I, I the only one? I'm just always the only one. You're always the only one. Oh, but okay. Follow-up question: If I smell like poop, can I smell myself? Yes. Because then either would be bad. Wait a so second. if, if no. I'm smelling poop either way, then I don't want to smell like poop. I just want to smell it, and then nobody else can smell me. Does that make sense? Kind of. Yeah. The, well, no. <laughs> would you rather smell like poop and not know it? or you're constantly smelling it 
But I, but you're telling me, but if I chose that option, then I would know it. <laughs> Let's just move on. Let's just move on. Let's just. I'm not that. good at this game. <laughs> okay, would you rather hick up forever, or get that feeling all the time, 24/7, of when you're about to sneeze? Uh, I already hick up about three times a day, every day, since I was a kid. So right. I'll pick that one because I'm already used to it. You should get that looked at. It's a, it's a real problem. Like, ever since I, like, when I remember really? when I was little, I tried to look up the, like, Guinness World Record of, like, the most hiccups because I thought I could be in the running. Yeah. I was not even close, but. Really? Who knew? I never knew there was a world record for hiccups. Yeah, apparently some, Man. like, farmer in the backwoods of Montana or something, like, hiccuped for years straight. For, like, 90 years he hiccuped. <laughs> and... Then he died, <laughs> and he was the saddest man ever. <laughs> that sounds like it'd be a really good a short movie trailer. <laughs> he hooked up forever, and then he died. And then he died. All right, last one. Would you rather eat a ham sandwich and feel its pain, or be a ham sandwich? Jeez, these are really, like, existential questions. Um, Intellectual, would you rather? I'd probably be a ham sandwich. Because then I'm like a ham martyr, you know? Then it's like I'm not doing evil. Evil's yeah. being done to me, and yeah. that's somehow better. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, be a ham sandwich. What? When in doubt, be a ham sandwich. When, when in doubt, be a ham sandwich. Hashtag be a ham sandwich. There. There you go. Right trending. There. Let's get trending, guys. Let's go. Let's go. That should be our, our, my show motto. <laughs> when in doubt, be a ham sandwich. Uh. All right, Lisa, thank you so much for coming on the show. That was an awesome game. I'm sorry I overanalyzed it, but Heck it's yeah. what I do. Cyber high five. <laughs> All right. That's our show. Good night, everybody.